What's up everybody? Today we're going to be changing the drums and shoes on a 2006 Saturn View. So I'll go ahead and walk you through the steps. Got some Duralast brake drums that we're going to be putting on. Also some of these Duralast brake shoes. Put links to these in the description for you. So that's what we're going to be putting on the 06 Saturn View today. Okay, just want to run down the tools you're going to be needing for this job. Um, some gloves are nice to have. Some shop towels. A little bit of brake lubricant. Uh, you can just have some fine sandpaper. I use the little Ryobi Corner Cat with 220 grit sandpaper. Flathead screwdriver. Uh, a couple pair of pliers. You know, you have some needle nose and just some regular pliers. That'd be nice because you're going to need those for the springs. You're also going to want to have a wire brush. I just use this one. This one's just sitting there as extra, but uh, you're gonna need that so you can clean things up. You don't have to have this to do the job, but uh, I'll leave a link in the description for this. This helped with the spring washer. Um, it's great to be able to push that on. Um, this was great to have, this little OEM tool for the uh, springs to help pull. I'd hook this onto the spring and pull that across. Crowbar that came with the Saturn View hammer, some brake parts cleaner, definitely going to need a full can of that. I used one full can. An optional recommendation if you have a box sitting around, unless you want your driveway to look like that, because that's what looks like the aftermath of all the brake dust that's going to come down onto the driveway when you spray the brake parts cleaner. Uh, maybe if you do it in the grass you don't care, but um, in the driveway, if you don't want your driveway to end up looking like that with some black stains, then put a box down. But that's about it. That's all you're going to need to do the job. So we have the wheel off. One of the first things I'm going to do is uh, try to get that drum off of there. Before this is going to come off, we're going to have to remove this little clip here. I just take a flathead, screwdriver, and start loosening these little clips. And then some pliers, and we'll kind of just yank that right off of there. Okay, so I have that little stubborn clip off of there. Um, these you just throw away. You're not going to reuse them. Um, and from here the rotor or the drum should just slide off um, I've seen a lot of videos Where this is stuck mine luckily just slid right off So one of the things I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take my cell phone and take some pictures of the top The overall thing and some of the bottom So that I can remember how the stuff is aligned. I'm also, when I take them apart, I'm going to lay them down on the ground in the order that I take them off so I can hopefully keep things in order. I picked that up from another video that I watched on YouTube. So one of the videos that I watched was really helpful. Uh, the guy showed basically um, laying out your parts kind of like you see it here. So I've got my new parts here and I'm going to look at them and try to lay them out in the way that it's currently set up. So it looks like looks like this one goes on this side. Looks like this one goes on that side. So <clears throat> before I take everything off, I'm just going to kind of put put them on the ground in a similar fashion. I've got my new springs and everything, so I can kind of look and see how this is laid out. Um, the longer, skinnier spring is up top. So before I go dismantling everything, like I said, I've taken some pictures and I'm just gonna take my time. I've never done this before. And uh, take my time and take, take things apart one by one. And as I take a part off, I will lay it out on the new shoes. So I've mimicked uh, what I have going on with my springs lined up in the holes, basically in the very first hole that's available. Those are going to go, and um, one by one I'll take off these springs. So I'll, pretty much most of what's left in this spring kit here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, one of these will go up top right here, and one of these will go kind of hidden down in here, which I'll try to show a little bit closer as we go along. 
Okay, so I'm going to start by taking off these little guys. I have this little tool that I picked up for a few dollars from AutoZone. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to pull this top spring out. There we go. Not too bad. So I'm going to just pull this off in the exact manner that it came off. I'm going to make sure I have the exact same part. I'm kind of just going to mimic what we had going on there. these pins out. Uh, we have new ones so we're not going to need those. So real quick I just want to show you you know this little clip right here. We're going to be peeling that off with uh, probably some pliers and a flathead. We'll, we'll pry that off. The new kit with the springs and everything came with uh, new that new C-clamp. So we're not going to be needing to save that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this all connected. And the next step is I'm going to take my new shoe and in a second I'm going to remove this little C-clamp clip, I should say. You fit in your car? Yeah. Yeah. that there goes that <clears throat> let that dry for a second we put it on Fixing the brakes. Oh. Okay, so we got the brake parts cleaner all sprayed and clean on this piece. So it kind of rotates down. And normally this is going to sit up here like so, but we're going to let it kind of just rotate down, kind of how it would be. Just mirrored. And as you can see, this little nipple here, we'll put the washer on top. So I flatten it out a little bit. Okay. Should give us enough room to kind of get the C-clip started. Use my pliers to push it the rest of the way into place. Okay. I guess it's a good idea to Try to pinch this closed a little bit. So we get the washer, the C-clip, and then this piece will end up putting back on like that. But for now, I'm gonna just let it spin down, kind of rest on the ground for now. We're gonna spray cleaner on everything and get it as clean as we can. You're gonna need a wire brush. 
and your brake parts cleaner. And we'll go to work. Okay, let's clean away. As you can see, I did not spare anything when it came to spraying that cleaner. It's definitely worth giving it a good good brushing as well and clean it the best I can. I'm going to sand these spots as best as I can with my sander. So this is just a little Ryobi corner cap and I'm using ultra fine 220 grit sandpaper. Um, you know, the videos I watched, people said you want to clean these these contacts up where the shoes, the three contact points where the brake shoes rub. So that's what I'm doing. That looks pretty good. Get one last spray. Okay, we can go ahead and try to put this first brake shoe into place. And clean it off a little bit. Got a little bit of residue on it from when I was cleaning everything. Just wanna make sure it's nice and clean. Hey. I've never done this before, but what's happening is these are keyed. And they're only going to go in one way. When this slides in, you're going to rotate it and it's going to lock into place. You can only get in and out the one way. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to get that pin in there. And we'll slide this brake shoe up into place the best we can. Get our tools nearby, our spring. Put that on. Put the little cap on. There we go. They're a little tricky. You kind of have to get it from the right angle so that you can kind of see which way that key is lined up. So it's a little awkward, but it's it's plenty possible to this. This actually, I'm very fortunate my car is in pretty good shape. This is not locked up, so that's good. But what I am going to do is I'm going to spray some brake parts cleaner on here. I'm going to take it completely apart. Okay. I'm going to spray some brake parts cleaner on the threads. Just a little bit. Then I'm just going to brush these threads as clean as I can get them. And then I'll put some grease on there. Just 
a little bit around the threads before I thread it back together. But just a nice even layer of grease. And we'll thread this back together. I'm going to try to put it back in about the same spot that it was at. Right around there. That's into place good. And this is all together how it should be. Okay. It wouldn't be that hard, but it is, trust me. into place. Kind of the way it should be in the looks of it. So here's our new drum. Um, I watched a video that said you should spray the inside of this with some brake parts cleaner and just wipe it down to get this coating off of there. So that is what I'm going to do. Wipe it off with some shock towels. Okay. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and put the the new drum in place. Okay, and then you kind of push in and turn this. And there's a bit of resistance, not a whole lot, but there's a little bit of resistance, which I read was what you're looking for and what I watched on the other YouTube videos. So. This side is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the wheel back on, walk around to the other side and do the same thing, and then I'll go give it a test. So thanks for watching. I hope that this helps you out. And uh, if, you, if it does help you out, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And uh, if you need any help with anything, just feel free to write me in the comments below. Thank you.